Hello? This is Yang San Li Tai Chi, traditional form, section one. And this is going to be the last class for the section one uh, series. Uh, I'm going to be starting on Friday at this time instead, and I'm going to be doing the section three class. But Cheryl is going to do the section one class in this time slot. So just so you know. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and let's do the first section up to the last move you did last week, which I think Dee Dee did Perry Block and Punch. We'll do a little bit of review of Perry Block and Punch, and then we'll do the moves to the end of the form. Okay? So let's start. Head up, hips down, hands by your side, prepare. Opening, rotate your arms, come up to shoulder level, and then press down almost to the bottom. Press the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left, turn right, all the way on the right, Step and close, shift and open. Ward off right, shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, pull left, ward off down right, pull in the right foot, step and close, shift weight, separate. Roll back. Rotate your arms and turn to the corner. Shift your weight back as you turn to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push forward. Single whip, shift weight back as you flatten your hands. Turn and pull all the way around. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the left, hook hand with the right. Standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right, turn the left foot to the corner. Rotate your arms as you push off the right ball. Root your right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down. Circle your arms, step and close. Turn, step and Open, left brush knee, rotate your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from salute, yield forward, pull in the back foot. Pull back, push off the ball of the front foot, change your footwork, one up, one down. Left brush knee, turn your right palm up, swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee, left hand comes up part way, turn the left foot to the corner, hands come to the center, swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, right hand comes up part way. Right foot turns to the corner as hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. 
hands drums the loop. Yield forward, back foot pulls in. Push off the ball of the front foot. Circle, one hand up, one hand down as you change your footwork. Left brush knee, turn your right palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Parry, block, and punch. Left hand comes up part way. Left foot turns to the corner as hands come to the center. Pull down, swing, step, one line, two sides. Parry, block and punch. Okay, how is that? Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I think, um, yeah, I, I, as you were saying in all the details, I think I got all clear. I was not doing all perfect, but I, yeah, I, I think I don't have questions to this point. Okay, good. So um, let me uh, do uh, just parry, block, and punch one more time. And then we'll start working on a parent close-up, OK? So from left brush knee, when you're going into parry, block, and punch, the beginning looks like the transition to right brush knee because you're coming up part way and you're turning the left foot to the corner as your hands come to the center. This looks just like right brush knee. But then as you shift your weight forward and your hands come down, you're going to make a fist with the right swing step, one line, two sides. Parry, block, and punch. One of the things I want you to be careful about, I'm going to do it toward you, and that is when you come up and you pull down, swing, step, one line, two sides, parry. When you're at parry, all your weight is already on the right. And when you go to block, what happens is, so everything happens at the same time, hand and foot. The thing you have to be careful about is when you pull this back, you don't pull it too far back. You want to keep this rounded shape. And how do you keep that rounded shape? You turn. So as this hand comes forward, your body turns so that your, hand, your shoulder doesn't turn back. So it's the turning that gets your, that gets your arm back. And then you punch as you shift weight. And your left hand, the palm is opposite the middle of the right forearm. You're about a fist width apart. And you want the palm and not the fingers, right? Because you potentially could be using this to deflect. And your fingers are too weak for deflection. You need to have your palm so that in case, in case you're in a situation where you're using your palm to deflect as you punch, you want to make sure that you don't have your weak fingers doing it. Okay? okay. So just a few tips for that part. So can we do it? So I read. Yeah. Block, parry, and punch, just so I make sure I... Okay, uh, I'm going to do it in the direction you would be doing it. 
instead of doing it toward you because I find it's hard to do it you know with somebody else's mirror image so if you are at the end of left brush knee you have your left foot forward in a bow stance you have just done your strike with the right hand and your left hand is in front of your hip so you move the left hand up part way as your hands come to the center you turn your left foot and you are actually starting to turn your shoulders in the direction of that foot then as you come down you make your fist with the right and your swing step parry block and punch so make sure when you do the right hand after you make your fist i don't know if you can see but after you make your fist when you come down here you're going to turn it when you when you swing with the left, you're turning your fist so that it faces back the same uh, direction as your other hand. So that when you come up, you're ready. You're coming up across, not this way, but across because someone is striking toward your center. So you're going to do it across. And your hand here is in front of your shoulder behind this here so that when you come back, you're blocking. So think about when you did right brush knee. When you did right brush knee, you did this. Look at the left hand, okay? So if I'm doing right brush knee, my left hand comes up, comes to the center, swings, comes to my shoulder and strikes, right? In parry, block and punch, instead of striking here with this, it blocks with the whole palm, okay? This is a block, not a strike. Okay, so when you're doing parry, block, and punch, you're here, just looking at the left hand. It's very similar to right brush knee. See, here's right brush knee. Here's parry, block, and punch. Can you see the left hand is almost the same, except for the very end when I'm coming across, right? But you have that block. It's similar to the strike. Instead of this, you have this, right? Okay. So uh, after that, we have apparent close-up. Apparent close-up is in one way simpler and in one way more difficult. It's simpler because there's no footwork. In parry, block, and punch, you have a new footwork because you went from a bow stance to a one line, two sides, and then to another bow stance, right? right. In apparent close up, no footwork. Once you set your feet, they stay there. But there is a lot of body turning and hand movement. So let me show you what it looks like in the same direction you would be doing it. Then I'll do it facing you so you can see the hands better. Okay, so at the end of parry, block, and punch, you're like this. Apparent close-up looks like this. You yield forward, you passing palm open.
So I am turning left, turning right, coming to center, and I have relatively complicated hand movement. So doing it facing you, if I'm here, what am I doing with the left? with the right hand. What I'm doing with the right hand is I'm yielding. So that's why my shoulder is turning to the left because I'm yielding with the right. Then as I pass my palm here, my shoulder comes back to square. But then when I pull back, my shoulders go to that corner. Then I square up again and then push. So the push is just like the push in Grass the Bird's Tail. Okay, you're going from your chest to shoulder level. So when you're here, and I don't know if it's any better from this direction. I don't think so. Okay. Make, so that you're looking to your wall? To this way? No, or uh, this? the other way, uh, behind you. Like this that. way. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if I am here, okay, oh. then I'm yielding forward, passing palm, coming back, and pushing. You can see my feet, but you can't see my hands. That's the thing. <laughs> but I wanted to see how your your back was going right and left. L left, Thank right you. and left. Yes. Okay, we'll do one more time. So starting from here, I'm yielding forward, passing, coming back, and pushing. So the hands are a little tricky because this is the first time we have passing palm, which you use again in Fair Lady in the third section. So what is passing palm for? It is for getting someone off you. So when you were here at the end, what you did was you yielded. It. It's like somebody's pulling you, okay? So that's why you're yielding. Then you're going to turn your left hand so the palm is up. And then you're going to pass under the right and pull somebody off you. So this person has got your hand and you're turning it to make it more difficult for them to hold you. And then you're trying to get them off you. So that's what passing palm is for. It's for getting somebody off you. And once they're off you, then you can push them, right? So there's a lot of body turning in order to position yourself. So when you have your, when you're here and you're yielding forward, when you yield forward, your left hand is getting ready to turn over so that it can cross underneath and then get the other person to release. Then turn back and push. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So let's do that a few times. I'm going to turn in the direction that you would be doing it because I think it's slightly easier for you to see. So yes. that is for you to do it at the same time. So if you're at here, you're going to yield forward and turn your left hand over. And you're gonna turn your fist over too. 
because you're trying to keep uh, make it hard for them to hold you. Then you're going to pass underneath, open. You're going to shift your weight back as you uh, try to get them away from you. Then you turn and do a regular push. Okay, how does that yeah. feel? Okay, so make sure you get all your turns in and make sure that your hands are in the good spot because here you must make sure that you yield and turn your left palm over. Then you're going to turn your fist over as you pass, open, Now, when you're passing here, this arm goes over the middle of the left forearm. Then turn and push. When you're your final position at punch before you yield, are you, is your trunk as forward as in uh, right word in first tail? So here, uh, very, okay. You're, you're, you're here. Right. Okay, you're right. Okay. No. When you're here, you are at a bow stance. So you are 60% um, forward, so. But it's your left. Left yeah, foot left. forward, okay. So you're in a bow stance, so you're 60% forward. Oh, you're in a when bow stance. You, when you finish, you are also 60% forward. Okay, then I, I got that wrong. So you when you finish, when you punch, you're not in a bow stance? You are in a bow stance. Okay. So so your back leg is sort of straight. Is no, it... your back leg is toward the corner. It's toward the corner. But yeah, but okay. But the front foot is straight. So if I do it toward you, suppose I, I... I don't mean straight. I don't mean straight. I mean uh, extended. Yes. Yes. It and is your extended. Back and your back and I, So if I'm doing push, I look like this. Right. Same. 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 Okay. So when you yield, you actually you just turn. Your back doesn't go any further. It just right. Totally it's always turn. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Okay. So when I'm here. Can you see, this is all waist turn. Yeah, okay. Okay, so my leg position does not change. So it's a waist turn. I come under, open, and then I shift my weight back. So I'm pulling back. Uh-huh. And then pushing forward. Wonderful, yeah, okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So you so you want and Tai Chi almost always the first thing you do is connect. And almost always connecting means yielding. In other words, if the person is trying to pull you and you're connecting, you're yielding. But then what you're going to do is you're going to change their direction. Okay? You do not go strength against strength. What you do is, if they're coming toward you, if someone's coming toward my center, like in push hands, they're coming toward my center. What I do not do is I do not push up against them. What I do is I yield. And when I yield, I'm deflecting them so their energy goes sideways. It's not that I'm going against their energy. It's that I'm causing their energy to change direction. 
And that's why there's so many circles in Taiji, because you're taking something and changing the direction. And then when you change direction, essentially your defensive move is your wind up for your offensive move. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what the circle does for you. And that's why you have a continuous movement. Does that make sense? Lots. Okay, good. So let's do uh, this move a few times and then uh, we'll connect it to the last move and then we'll do the ending move, okay? Okay. So, so from here, Apparent close-up, yield forward, turn the left hand over, passing palm, open the right palm, uh, fist, come back, turn and push. One more time. You're in a bow stance for, and you're 60-40, you yield forward, so you're turning your shoulders toward the corner. Then you're passing, open the hand, come back, hands in front of your chest, push. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's do it from uh, left brush knee. So we're gonna do left brush knee, Parry block and punch, and a parent close up. So we're here. Parry block and punch. Left hand comes up part way. Left foot turns to the corner as hands come to the center. Pull down. Swing, step, one side and two side. Parry. Block, punch, apparent close-up, yield forward, passing palm, open the fist, come back, center, push. Did that go together pretty well? Yes. yes? Okay, one more time. From left brush knee. Left hand comes up part way. Left foot turns to the corner. Hands come to the center. Pull down. Swing. Step. Parry. Block. Punch. Apparent close up. Yield forward. Passing palm, come back, center, push. So just like in push, your push comes from your back foot. So the back foot pushes forward and the front foot stops it, okay? So um, when you're here, Push, okay? So the last move, do you have any questions on that one? No, no. Okay, the last move is cross hands. And I'm gonna do it in the direction you would be doing it and then I'm gonna turn around so that you can see better. Okay, so if I'm at um, push, at the end of uh, parent close-up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my hands so that I form like a triangle. Can you see like a triangle here? Then I'm going to shift my weight back and chop. 
and turn my left foot so that it's facing the original position. Then I'm going to push off my right ball as my hands come down. Then cross, cross, and that is cross hands. And that would be the beginning of the second section. Okay, so how do the hands cross? Okay, if I am um, pushing and I make my little triangle and I chop as I turn my left foot, then as I push off my right foot, my hands come down so they are face the palms are facing the back mm -hmm. and I cross. What I'm doing is I'm crossing so that the right hand is behind the left hand. Then as I turn them up, the right hand becomes the outside hand. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. what cross hands. Cross hands is cross hands is double ward off. If you think of a ward off, two ward offs mm -hmm. together, and they meet in the middle of the forearm. The thing that's important about ward off, when you see a ward off from the side, you see there's a lot of space here. Because I am defining my space with a ward off. So I don't want it here. I want to prevent somebody from attacking me. So I want that space. So when I have here ward off, I have a lot of space. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And maintain your body shape. Okay. It's just like it's just like this shape, except the hand position is different. But you want this concavity, and uh, you want to make sure that you have a good body structure. Okay. Oh. So. From here, from the push, you change your hand angle, and then you essentially chop as you move your left foot, right? The left hand does not move. It stays in the same position. Then as you push off the right foot, the palms move down and back then as you make the right foot parallel to the left you cross your hands so the right is in the back and the left is in the front then as you come up the right will become on the outside and the left would become on the inside and that's your cross hands position then if you were just doing the first section, you would close. And the way you close is you open, then turn your palms over and come down almost to the bottom and then close. Okay, so if at the end of every section, if you are not going on to the next one, you would close. Otherwise, you would be in this position, which is the beginning of the next section. So oh. second section, third section always begins with cross hands. Okay? Okay. So let's do the last few moves in succession so that you can get a feel 
of how the whole thing works, okay? So beginning with the end of left brush knee, we're gonna do peri block and punch. Shift way, left hand comes up part way. Hands come to the center as you turn your left toe to the corner. Pull down, swing, step, parry, block, and punch. Apparent close up. Yield forward as you turn over your left hand. Turn your fist as you pass palm and open your hand. Then pull back across the middle of your left forearm, center in front of your chest, and push forward. Cross hands. Make a little triangle with your hands. Chop and turn your left foot to the 12 o'clock. Then move your weight to the left and palms back. Cross as you move your right foot parallel to your left. Hands come up and that's cross hand. Closing, open out, turn over, and press down almost to the bottom. And then hands to the side. Okay, let's do that a couple more times so that we get it. Uh, more securely in our body, okay? So from the end of left brush knee, parry block and punch, left hand up, left toe turns as hands come to the center, pull down, swing, step, parry, all the weight is in the front, block, and punch. Apparent close up. Yield forward. Right palm is up. Passing palm. Left palm is up. And open. Palm back. Center. And push. Cross hands. Make a uh, triangle with your hands. Chop with the right and turn the left foot to the 12 o'clock. Shift weight to the left, hands facing back. Cross at the bottom as your right foot lines up with the left. Hands come up and you have cross hands. Closing. Open. Turn over. Press down, almost to the bottom, and then close. How is that? You have any questions? Um, no, no, no. I think I think I got it. Good. That's okay, good. in in that case. Since this is the last class, let's do it a couple of times from the beginning. In yeah. case you have any questions for any of the prior parts, okay? Yeah. If it occurs to you, just stop and say, question, and we'll work on that part, okay? I, you know what thing, I, I, there is something I, I, I keep forgetting to ask, but I, I think we can review it now. I got very clear how to move my left arm at the starting of brush knee, the first brush knee, when you are, well, we'll say it in a second. But in the other, all the other brush knees, I got to, sometimes I get messed up with my 
let's say if it's gonna be a left brush knee with my left hand because it has to do this but sometimes i i, I get it messed up so uh, i know it has to do this first but sometimes i get okay so what happens is that your very first brush knee is from white crane okay so, right, so if you're if you're at white crane what you're doing is you're turning your hands and yeah. then when you swing step you have up and down right i get that one yeah mm -hmm. okay that one is the easiest one when you do yeah. right brush knee what happens right. is that you're shifting your weight back to release this foot. So right. when you release the foot, you pull this hand up. So the hand that the foot that's released, the hand comes up. Yeah. Then that foot turns to the corner as the hands come to the center. Right. Okay. Then swing. Step. So what happens with swing step? Okay, so here, you come up here, your hands come to the center. Now, what you have to do is think of each hand separately. Okay, yeah. the left, the left hand, you're going to swing. Okay. okay, that's easy, right? The other hand, what you're going to do is you're going to press down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So think of two circles. Okay. So when you're at the end of left brush knee and you're going into right brush knee, what you're going to do is you're shifting your weight back so that you're releasing the front foot. Then you turn that foot and hands come to the center. That's the timing. Okay. Then yeah. when you swing step, you're going to swing one arm from the shoulder and one arm from the elbow. So swing step. Okay. So one hand, the big one is from the shoulder. The little one is from the elbow. Okay. okay. So you got, you have two different swings. Think of a big swing and a little push down yeah okay yeah. so I think the cool times is that i move the 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 one that should only only go from the elbow i move it from the shoulder and then i get all messed up but if i remember to just keep this part the first part uh not moving then just do the press down i think that that'll do it See, because once you press down, think about this way. You're going to press down and then come right. here. Okay. Yep. So it's, it's this kind of circle. The other one is big, comes to the shoulder and strikes. Okay. And Great. Thank you. Okay. So, so part of the uh, confusion has to do with what you call various things, okay? When you call something right brush knee, it's the left hand that makes the big swing. So people want to think, oh, if I call something left brush knee, it's the left hand that makes a big thing. No, it's the other hand. <laughs> so that's, that's part of the confusion. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So yeah. let let's do from white crane to the end, just so that you can get that part, because that'll sure. give you a bunch of uh of brush knees. Okay. So yeah. let's say you are at white crane. So you're at empty stance, left foot forward, right hand up. So left brush knee. Turn your hands. Swing, step, brush, strike. 
Now, hands drums the loop. Yield forward. It's just like a parent close up. You're doing a yielding here. Pull in the back foot. Push off the ball of the front. Change your footwork. One up, one down. Left brush knee. Right palm comes up. Swing step. Brush. Strike. Right brush knee. Left hand comes up. Left toe goes to the corner as hands come to the center. Swing step. Brush. Strike. Left brush knee. Right hand comes up part way. Right toe goes to the corner as hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from salute. Yield forward, pull in the back foot. Push off the toe of the front foot. Circle, one up, one down as you change your footwork. Left brush knee, right hand come, palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Parry, block, and punch. Left hand comes up part way. Turn your left toe as hands come to the center. Pull down, make a fist with the right. Swing, step, one line, two sides. Parry. Block, punch, apparent close up, yield forward, passing palm, right, left under right, open the right fist, come back over the middle of the left forearm, center, and push. Cross hands, make your triangle with your hands. Chop with the right as you turn the left foot to the straight. Shift weight to the left, hand, palms facing back. Cross and come up. Closing. Open, turn your palms over. Press down almost to the bottom and Close. Okay, did that help? Yep. Yeah, that helped. Okay, so you have a choice. Do you want to do it from the beginning, or would you prefer to do what we just did again? Let's do it from the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to turn around, do the same direction as you, okay? Okay, feet shoulders width apart, head up, hips down, hands by your side, prepare. Opening, rotate your arms, come up to shoulder level and press down, almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left, turn right, all the weight on the right, step and close, shift and separate. Ward off right, shift right, turn the left toe to the corner, pull left, ward off down right, pull in the right foot, step and close, shift and separate. Roll back. Rotate your arms and turn your waist to the corner. Shift your weight back as you turn to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left hand, expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, chest level and push to shoulder level. Single whip. 
Shift back, flatten your hands, pull and turn all the way around. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right, turn the left toe to the corner. Rotate your arms as you push off the right ball. Root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down, shift your weight back. Circle your arms, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from the loop, yield forward, pull in the back foot, push off the front foot, and one up, one down as you shift your footwork. Left brush knee, turn the right palm up, Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, shift back. Left palm comes up part way. Turn the left uh, foot and hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee. Shift weight back part way. Left right hand up. Turn the right toe to the corner. Hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. And strum salute. Yield forward. Right foot comes back. Push off the ball of the left foot. One hand up. One down, plant your uh, left heel, left brush knee, swing, step, brush, strike, parry, block, and punch. Left hand comes up part way, turn the left foot to the corner, hands come to the center, pull down, swing, step. One line, two sides, parry, block, punch. Apparent close up, yield forward, turn over the left hand, passing palm, open the right palm, come back, center, and push. Cross hands, make a triangle with your hands, chop with the right. As you move your left foot to the uh, straight, shift weight to the left, palms facing back, cross as you make your right foot parallel to the left, come up, right is on the outside, left is on the inside, closing, open, turn over, Press down, almost to the bottom, and close. Okay? Okay, so you, if you finish the first section, you don't end up near where you started, right? You're, you should... No, you do not end up where you started. Okay. Theoretically, if you do the whole long form, you should end up where you started. And I don't know anybody who does that. <laughs> they always end up a little bit off from where they started. Now the essential form, I can do it so that I can end up exactly where I started. But the long form, I don't, <laughs> I don't end up where I start. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yep. So um, if you want to, 
I don't know how far Didi is, but she is doing the second section class on Tuesdays, I think. And um, I'm doing the third section on Fridays at four o'clock. Okay. Um, uh, JP is continuing with his review of the uh, whole form. And I think that he's pretty much where we just finished. So That's I where, think. But, but he won't be teaching it from scratch. So you think I could manage well, to. I think you review. could manage because you already know the essential form. And okay. uh, the second section has a number of things that are. Uh, that aren't in the essential form. But since you're, you know, since you know so many of the basics, I think you can catch up. And I think that JP is usually pretty detailed when he does his review. Oh, he is, he is. He, it's been great to be doing it with you and then with Didi when you were not and with him all along because it, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I had not been seeing it with you and did if I would be as, uh, you know, as comfortable with uh, JP, but I, I'll I'll ask him, but yeah, I'll try to do it that way. Why are yeah. you doing this section? Oh, because uh, Didi is doing it, right? Didi is doing the second section. That's why I'm not doing the second section. So I'm starting up the third section because uh, Nancy would prefer to have uh, each section going all the time. So there should be at least one class that's teaching first, one class that's teaching second, and one class that's teaching third. And Cheryl is going to take over teaching first section at this time slot uh, uh -huh. because originally, uh, Nancy wanted her to do third section on Friday, but she can't do Friday. So mm -hmm. I'm doing third section on Friday, and then she's going to do first section. Yeah, this but, time works great for me, much better than Friday. So, but I'm managing with JP. So how how weird or unusual would be to start third section skipping second? Because third is the longest, right? Third is the longest, but in terms of teaching, second is the longest. Because there are so much repetition of second in third. So, oh, so, it's better so, to... what, so that's why teaching the third is often shorter than teaching the second, even yeah. though the second is shorter. <laughs> So second makes sense to do it first and then go to third. It does make more sense to do second and then third. But the thing is, because you know the essential, you actually know more of the third <laughs> than you know of the second. Oh, so I could it's probably get around doing it's second and third at the same time if my brain... <laughs> Can... Yeah, if your if your brain can it can manage it, yeah, you can do second and third at the same time. <laughs> that would be wonderful. I'll I'll definitely try. Give it a try, and if you if you get stuck on any uh, part, I can always review with you bits of second, you know, during the third section class because there's so much of second that's repeated in third. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try to do that. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you for coming to class. Thank you, Rita. It has been great. I've loved it. <laughs> okay, great. Thank I'll you. probably see you again, if, if only essential. If not, we'll see you in third. <laughs> I, I think I'll be in third. Uh, some Fridays I may miss it because it's, it's not as easy for me every Friday, but I'll definitely try to do that second and third with you. Wonderful. Okay. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye-bye.